remember to lift up your hands to Jesus. Wanike mikono jeri Yesu. Lift up your hands. Wanike mikono jeri. Ejitiwa ejimukwana chobomuwa. Give his name. Ejitiwa ejimukwana. Give him the glory to his name. Come on, give him the praise that is due his name. Speak to God and tell him, God, I love you than never before. Tell him, God, I love you than never before. Tell him, God, I need you than never before. Tell him, God, I'm obsessed for you than never before. Tell him, only you can touch me. Tell me if only God you can touch me. I know my life will be changed forever. I know my ministry will be changed forever. I know my family will be changed forever. I know my, my, my nation will be changed forever. The Bible says, draw me and we shall run. If only God can draw you, all people around you will run after God. If God can only draw you, the whole of your nation will follow God. Tell him, say, God, draw me. And we shall run after thee. Tell him, say, God, draw me. I give you my heart. I give you my strength. I give you my energy. I give you every ability in me. I give you every capacity in me. I give you every potential in me. I give you everything to In the name of Jesus. 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 Jesus. In the name of Jesus, come and reign, Holy Ghost. Come and reign in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord. The Bible says, My son, give me your heart. And learn my ways. He says, Give me your heart. That's all God desires. That's all my command is for. He says, it in his word. He says, only give me your heart. Because you may give your man and never give your heart. You may give your man and never give your heart. You may give your marriage and never give your heart. But the Lord says a special demand. He says, my son, he says, give me your heart and learn my ways. Now you can tell him, God, I open the heart. I open my heart. In the name of Jesus, then I open my heart. Speak to him. You get an idea. Speak to him. You get an idea. Speak to Speak the rock of ages. You get it in the words you will read. Speak the ancient of days. You get it in the cut of it. Speak to the great I am. You get it in the cut of it. Speak to the one that created. Speak the one that sowed. Speak the one that works. The one that heals us when we are sick. The one that forgives us when we do long. The one that takes away where there is no way. His name is omnipresent God. He is the omniscient God. He is the Allah God. The Bible says the Spirit of God bears witness. We are our spirits. We are the sons of God. 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 In this ministry, we believe in the presence of God. We believe in the miracles of God. We believe in the one that works. The power of God. God. We believe in the transforming power. We believe that life can change in one day. We believe that mountains can move in one day. We believe in the provisions of God. We believe that miracles still happen.
Kale Chino. I have a certain respect in the to the word of God. Because the word of God. Only the word of God can bring equal value to every man. The word of God does not show corruption. What it does to Muganda can do it to Muteso. What it does to Muteso can do it Every man gives his heart to the world. The word of God can make Has no favorites. Let them again say the word of God gives equal value to every man that attends to it. Again, it's gives equal value to every man. Every man. Every man. Every man. Every he used the sieves in the Bible. There was only one special thing. The Bible says he set his word into a sieve. He lighted up Israel. We know stammerers in the Bible. They didn't know how to talk. Yet God walks unto them and he tells them, I know you don't know how to talk. There's something called my word. I'm going to fix it in your lips. He says, Jeremiah, even when you're young, this is not about age. This is not about power. This is not about mighty. He says, This is my might. Because when it becomes you and me, you are against the scissors. When it becomes you and me, for you degrees are increased. You disappear your peace. And the word of God came to Jeremiah. And he told him. When you're young, I'm going to make you for the side to see. of defense. And the Bible says, and he has to his his word to his heart. And wherever Jeremiah went, God was so with Jeremiah. God was so with Jeremiah. He says, I will watch over my wife. That we shall put in your spirit. That when you go to Kampala, I watch over it. That when you go to the village, I watch over it. That wherever you go, Jeremiah, there is a substance of God in your spirit. That's what he means when he says, You'll be blessed in the city. You'll be blessed in the village. You'll be blessed as you come in. You'll be blessed as you go out. Why? Because he makes sure. There are people here. What do I want to one? They may, they may look like nothing now. But every time they open up their lips, 
You may not perceive me, well, but the one you see I was once blind. <laughs> I think there is something about this one who opened my eyes. And there is something one who attended to call a Yasuma Yakura Masogang. Let me tell you something about this generation. There are people who are so comfortable. Even their comfortability. They have gone out of wine. They, they, they have gone out of wine. The Bible says wine is done. Bible says wine But they are still at the party. The, the, the wine is gone. Decoration is there. Machines are still sounding. But brother, wine is gone. I'm still searching to understand. How related was Mary to that family? Maria ina kwa gana chio waka kwa techi. The chairman of the party. Bible, Bible ringe tu kati yari manager events. Oh, she was invited. invited. Bible ya tu kama inti yaya ni diziwa. Na yamu ni mara baantu. But there are some people. What they ask to church inga yamu geni. Even though they came out and said, "I never want to come back never." I think they be old and they still know. The Bible says she she was invited. Bible kama ba mu ani diza ba ani diza. She was not on the organizing committee. But she knew that in all this comfort, these people have got no wine. And Mary was representing the Holy Ghost in that scripture. She went to the master. She says they have no wine. But it's okay, you call it party. But they have no wine. Hmm? Yeah. It's a party. But they have no wine. It's a party. If you slap the person next to you and tell them it is a bugger, it is a party. But again, you have wine. But again, ask them. It's a crusade. Wow, crusade. It's a conference. Where we are looking at it's a service. Where we are service. But is there wine? Na yeye waliwa vinyu. And she told him, "Ni agamba mukama wafu. They have got no wine. Mazima teba ina vinyu. And the Bible says, listen. Bible yetu gamba uli disa. The Bible says. Bible yoyo kire gamba. She went to. The servants. I understand the ministry of servanthood before God. She didn't go to the big man. She didn't go to those so special. The Bible says she went to the servants. Lift up your one hand and say servants. And she told the servants. Do whatever he tells you. Then I will come And the master told them. Go and fill six pots. Mugende mujuze pots 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 and sewer mukaga. Number six in the Bible is the number of man. A number mukaga, a chikiri the number, a chikiri do muntu. Listen to me, Church of God. But it is a kanisa ya katunda. If we have to see revival, we tuma ba kula ba kuziwa. If we have to see change generation, we tuma ba kula ba muzi mbogo kuto. We need at least six men filled with this power. We taka o kula ba avantu ngaba imiride. We need those few men who are filled with this power. We taka o kula ba avantu abo ngaba tuzitwa. There are many at the moment they begin to encounter God. Their names will become password for other people's success. How oh, you can lift up your hand and say, God, that's me. Oh, 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 that's me.
so you go get a call. Because they just encountered God. What you want to boba sink and you can And what is special is that even the special men on the party, they didn't know where the wine came from. They just only stood up and they called the groom. What pastor was wrong? Every man at his back brings a good wine first. How comes for you? You reserve the special go, go There is something about this generation. The other generation didn't see no The world even said we thought we knew God. Yeah. We preached God. We thought we saw Jesus. We thought we saw miracles. Yeah. There is something in you that comes. I am amazed as another generation. There is grace. There is grace to catapult you to another level. To bring you to the excellences of the Holy Spirit. On Sunday, told you until you're tired of some situation. Until you're tired of some life. You will never understand the power that is behind your access in God. Say the glory of the latter church shall be greater than the former. Can we change our generation? Somebody stop your hand. When I'm giving you two minutes, can we change our generation? Oh, somebody, can we change our generation? Oh, somebody, can we change our generation? Oh, can we change our generation? Can we change the order of service? Can we change the normal preachings? Can we change the demonstration of the Spirit? Can we change? Can we change everything? Lift up your voice and speak to God. Can we change it? Some people are so normal. And they are used to that normal life. The Spirit of the Lord is saying at the He's saying at the advance. Let him say, God, I change my life now. Say, I change the way I do things. I change the way I preach. I change the way I minister. Maybe it was by me. But now I submit to the Holy Ghost. Back over, Lord Jesus. I change my life. I change my life. I win battles my family never won. Thank you, Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus.
In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We got to never tell them. I'm here for transformation. Look at them again. Say, in the name of Jesus. I win battles my family never won. Oh, come on, say it when you say in the name of Jesus. I win whatever failed them. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do a few things. And I will still use a few minutes to share with us praise God thanks for coming we treasure you we love you very much and God is good amen somebody amen somebody amen amen uh, there's something I, uh, I don't know I, I promise you to announce something today Praise the Lord. We have our marriage bands that want to announce. Yeah. You know, we, we, we're a church that loves transparency. I love when I'm doing everything that the church knows. So we have some people that are soon getting married. So no, no, no. <laughs> And this one, we want to present them to you. So that from today, the moment I tell you these ones, begin looking out to support them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, uh, we have so far two parties coming, two weddings coming. And I think, I believe next year there will be more than two. And then I have a child to dedicate. There are some parents who ask me to dedicate. Praise God. So uh, let me firstly announce you these couples. Are those pictures ready? Do you have them? They're ready. Praise God. And one joy I have about these couples I'm announcing is that all of them both wife to be and husband to be all of them are mind of Christ breed that's what gives gives me joy unspeakable so uh the first one, Kakana Aba Sokera Dara, on the sixth Mukaga of November, Omwezigo Wakumina Gumu. That is next month. We are going to wait. <laughs> God. Praise God. Amen. Now, these people are getting wedded on the six. We are going to, I'm going to make Barbara stand up. And we have to ask for the call. Praise the Lord. Yeah. No, let me say a few words for clarity. So on the 6th of November, we are wedding Mr. Bazir, Gasasira, 
and Nansamba Babra. Nansamba Babra. Mufumba Mutukufu. All these people have been the members and children of this ministry. Right now, right now, Bazir is not here. He's in Belgium. But he's coming. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you have any reason to why the two should not get married. <laughs> Say it now. Joke kakano. Oh, you saw it forever. Oh, you think it? If you have any reason, go on it. Toina your song. To why Bazir and Barbara should not get married. Say it now, or you keep quiet forever. Sirika. Praise God. So this couple is waiting on the 6th of November. If you are to support them, see Babra. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So support them. That's the first couple. Can you clap for them? Amen. Mm. Amazingly, they are wonderful men of God than the women of God. Now, the next couple is. Julius to stand up and look at the people and wave to them. Praise the Lord. So uh, this part is going to be in January. Banobo. Listen, why do I announce this part is so so that if you were eyeing one of them, so I don't want to be broken. You know that people can be eyeing until the last time. You, you, you better. Pastor Julius is going to be wedding charity. Praise God. So I announced to you that Julius is booked. Julius Charity is booked. Butter is booked. And is booked. Akaweta. Try somewhere else. <laughs> hey, are, we are we happy? Are we happy? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says he that findeth the wife. Eh? Bible gamba oh ya zuro mukazi. You know, there is a mystery there. Wari we chame tiriawo. He says he that findeth a good thing. Oh, your sinkana oh mucharu woku was. He findeth a good thing. Azura echin to echirunji or afun echin to echirunji. But also the beauty there is Neate echirunji muchino chirinti. That she is a wife before she's found. Inti avera mucharu mamukasi makangatana suriwa. Eh. Before she's found. Ngatan. Banange. Ngatana suriwa. Avaka tonda yamuteka kodda. Shall have some deep teachings there. She's a wife before she's found. That means in the, in the realm of the spirit, there is something called wife. 
that has to be found. I'm not talking about a lady. I'm not talking about a woman. Please be a wife. Oh, Sabidua Obero Mukazi Anafumba. Um, Abamuchala. You be a wife. You be a wife. You be a wife. You be a wife. You be a wife before you're found. You be a wife before you're found. You be a wife before you're found. That a person looks at him and they say, Ha, ah, that wife. No, but if they are still going with these say, sayings of those girls, these two girls, they have not yet even amounted to being called a woman. Praise the Lord Jesus. I mean, she's a wife before she's found. So when somebody finds his thing, it's better we announce it to you. Those who criticize, criticize early before we wed. There are those who are going to start, but the Kamani, the Kawumani, 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 the you know, they are well wishers. What do you want to do? Hey, you want to do? Mommy, you say, I don't want to do anything at least. My, can I wish? I wish it. Oh, my wish. It, she too could be as a one. But now, go out of here. Can you imagine? That guy went the other side and left this one. No. Can I go out? 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 The Bible doesn't say whom they find for. Bible gamba sio yego bazulira oba go balabira. Guva mu kunonyeza balala le kabe no. Stop looking for other people. We nonyeze. All you do is to appreciate what they have found. We cho ino kola. We baze katondole bo baze olwensonga olwo yo guba bafunye. And you watch them celebrate life. E ro balabe nga beya kaliya mbula mbuno. Bo wuli ro biunga yo kuba ku mutima nga mama kama ndokora. Okay when you feel bad at one moment, eh, repent and say God forgive me and change me. Choka raba unu gari tu asabana yi. Look at this guy used to despise and we used to pray together I didn't see that so vision. Father in the name of Jesus. Kakana sita for with the eyes. We bless Julius and Charity. Julius in a charity to our Mukisago. We bless Bazir and Babra. Bazir and Babra to our Mukisago. We pray for a safe and good preparation. To Saba or Rubutevin Kevu, no take a take of Kurunji. We pray for a good provision. To Saba or Rubagavizi Oburunji. In the matters of success and excellence of this world. Monsonga is Okura Mukisano Kuita Kwemi Kolo Jine Jija Maso. In the name of Jesus. Murinia Yesu. We pray that these will live longer. To Saba Banobana Banabera Oburam. Have good and wonderful children. Erabana Funa Abana Vesanyu Abeya Gaza. Bless them, O God. In Jesus' name. Murinia Yesu. Amen. Amen. So praise the Lord. Kakano Yesu Yevaziwe. The matters of their weddings and parties, they will be they will be informing you about the time. But you could take a venue single co those cards. Card you even the even the cake will come. Let cake to Jacuria. Remember that we are still in 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 lockdown. Praise God. But I pray that we shall have time with them and so not so that for no Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes, he has the way. And uh, let me request Brenda. Can save Brenda. These people just gave birth, I think, two weeks ago. <laughs> and and the husband. I find it a pleasure to dedicate this wonderful. Young it's baby. It's you can come forward. Come forward. And then we. You know, the Bible says children are blessing from God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And, and, and as a ministry, mind of Christ, God has blessed us with children. Praise God. We've always had children and we thank God for children. These ones are ministers. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Yes, we have And I believe I think the pastor also got off Tabuka Kati. Eh, Nana, I wouldn't think of again that Wonga and Agamanango Sasuku feed one. 
Praise God. Yeah, I mean. So I want you to be in agreement with me. Mm. Praise mm. the Lord. I mean. You know, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. The dedication of children is biblical. When Jesus was born, the Bible says Simeon got Jesus and dedicated him to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is biblical and we've been doing it. I don't know how many children have so far dedicated to God, but there have been many. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, yes. So these are the questions you know I always ask when I'm dedicating children. Praise God. I mean, One, I always demand the commitment of the parents. And their willingness to raise their children in the fear of God. And to give all the required necessities. We've seen children who have grown on the street, yet they had parents. And, and you assume maybe their, children, their parents were not ready when they were giving birth to them. That's why I always demand, demand that commitment. That as a parent, you'll be willing to offer anything to raise your child. And call that child what God calls him. Right? Never call your child a stupid person. Never look at this foolish vagabond. Those are the things we cut off and refuse. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Give me the chart. Is a, is a boy. What's his name? Adrian. I do Adrian. Adrian. Yeah. There is an anointing called Adrian seated right behind there. <laughs> Praise God. Come In the name of Jesus. Mr. Wamimi. And Mrs. Wamimi Dennis. They are here to dedicate their child to God. Dennis and Brenda. Dennis and Brenda. Do you commit yourselves that you shall raise this child? In the fear of God and take care of all his necessities. Thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus. By the office of the priest entrusted to us as a church. We lift up Adrian into your hands. We pray that Adrian will be raised in the fear of God. The sickness and disease will be far away from him. That all the necessities and the needs of, of, that he desires as a child. God will pray that you will provide. The Bible tells us of a child who was born by the names of Enoch. The Bible says when Enos was born, the scripture says men began to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I pray that Adrian will be blessing to his family because his generation fear God and follow God all the days of their life. I bless the spirit of God upon him. May the Lord feed him when he's young. In Jesus' name, Adrian, you're for God. Amen. Somebody Amen. clap hands for Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. And we break the parents through. May God provide for all your needs. May the Spirit of the Lord fill you and use you in your generation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. I have another baby called Nana. Eliana. Eliana Grace Dunamis. <laughs> Praise God. Amina. 
Hallelujah. Amen. This one is a daughter. Ono muwala. To Mr. and Mrs. Edieko Jr. Francis. Muwala wange ni mchala wange. And they are ministers in this church. In the submission of scriptures. I demand from Pastor Ruth and Bishop Junior. Will you commit yourselves to take care of this child? Raise her in the fear of God. And give and support her in anything she needs. Do you? Yes, We thank God. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I commit Eliana before the hands of the Almighty God. I brace upon her the spirit of the sovereign God. Fill her with wisdom and understanding. And protect her from all harm. And make her a blessing in her generation and the parents. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is a powerful thing to do. Praise the Lord. It's a blessing to dedicate children. If you knew you could celebrate it. We have seen a generation destroyed by the devil. Amen. What's the name of this child? Atelo. Atelo Agenlo. Atelo Ageno Rot. Atelo Ageno Rot. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Atelo again, Lord. Atelo again, Lord. Is a son. Is a daughter. Muwala. Is a daughter to Mr. and Mrs. Muwala wa mukuru. Eloch. Eloch Joseph. Joseph. It's a blessing to dedicate children of the servants of God. So we demand from Rachel and Joseph. Will you commit yourself to take care of this child? Raise this child in the fear of God. Do you? Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I commit this child in the hands of the Almighty God. I breathe upon his life. The grace of life. The spirit of the Lord will govern and guide her. And serve her whatever she needs. In the name of Jesus, you God, you will serve God. In Jesus' name. Lastly, please bear with us. Hallelujah. There's another wonderful man here. Oh, a man. Oh, praise God. What's the name of this one? Noela. Noela. Praise God. I want to ask the mother of Noela. And the father in his absentia. You commit yourself to take care of this child. Raise this child. In the fear of God, and support all that she needs. Father, in the name of Jesus, I command and commit no word at your hands. We've seen that with it takes young children, it will not take this one. I brace upon her life the brace of the Almighty God. And you be raised to fear God and serve God. In Jesus' name. Amen. So we bless you, the parents. May the Lord God be with you. Thank you very much. We love you and we pray for all the children in Jesus' name. When our Sunday school is open, please I want to see all those children in Sunday school so that we are able to nurture them and give them the materials. As a church, we also commit ourselves because as a church, we, we too have a responsibility and we commit ourselves to do it and serve, and serve these people. Amen. Amen. Okay, praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, so Christy Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Brenda, our basket is here. Brenda, 
you can get free, you know you can feel free to offer in it amen i mean i have few minutes bear with me praise the lord mbe. jesus Come yes, on, hallelujah. Yes. hallelujah. 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 Give me John chapter number 8 and verse 16. I want to share with you the word so quickly. Please don't leave until I'm done with it. I want to use a few minutes. John chapter number. Thank you very much. John chapter number 8. And verse 16. Dennis Amen. Praise God. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes, Let's read together one, two, three. Yes, Amen. Praise God. Yes, he ever see Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, I take time to recognize all men and women of God in the house. Jose, I'm happy seeing you. That wonderful man of God. From Sozo Ministries. Ministries. Praise God. Now, verse 16 says, he says, yet if I judge, he says, my judgment is true. He says, for I'm not alone. Somebody stay with me, say, I'm not alone. Say, I'm not alone. Look at your neighbor and tell them, I'm not alone. He says, for I'm not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. Jesus reveals to us yes, in the book of, of Hebrews, you remember chapter 10 and verse 7. He says, I came in the volume to do the will of him that sent me. And like I've already submitted to your attention that everything Jesus did, it was in the order and the purpose of God's will. That if Jesus healed the sick, that was the will of God. Every word that Jesus said, he said, it is written of me. He said, I come in the volume of that book to do thy will of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Now he has told us in John, he says, when I judge, he says, my judgment is true because I don't judge alone but he says my father that sent me is with me is with me is with me, is with me. The when I'm preaching I don't preach alone the one who sent me to preach he always preaches with me he says, I'm not alone. That's why I want to share about the fellowship. The fellowship. In a few minutes, I want to talk about fellowship. That time I was sharing with Junior. We were here at night, we were praying. And I was praying the night. I told him, I said, Pastor Junior, I have grown to understand that not everything in this kingdom is a gift. Not everything is a gift. There are things which are rewards. And I told him, if you remember, I told him about the three levels of anointing. I told him about the anointing of a believer. Every child of God has got. Every bad has it. Then I told him about the other level of anointing. I told him about the anointing of the office. That by the reason of my apostolic office, there is a, there is a kind of anointing that will preserve me whether you are or you don't. That by the reason of his call, there is something he has pressed on my life. That is the thing that will always cause me to bend. I tell him again and say, Father, here I am. But again, I told him about the anointing of the reward. 
Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know God loves all men. And I'm telling you God will not use all men. There are people who are so special. To the heart of God. Because of their obedience to his principles. Second Corinthians I'm meeting so quickly. Second Corinthians chapter 13. And the verse is verses number 14. Look at it. The Bible says, let's read together. Bible He said, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And he says, and the love of God. And the communion of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, be with you. The word communion there is partnership. It is fellowship. He says, as you receive the grace, he says, alongside the lines of the Trinity, there is a person there that seeks communion. He seeks you know, it's by this intercourse. The Bible says that the Spirit of God teaches the deep things of God. That when you begin to commune with Him, yes, there is a fellowship you have. And I know you are born again. And I know you are a Christian. I know you are a pastor. I know you carry a title in the church. But listen, this is not about your title. This is about your diligence and commitment to commune with Him. That as you commune with him, the Corinthians teaches us, he begins to, 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 to unveil to you what he has called the deep things of God. The deep things of God. Tell him and say the deep things of God. The deep things of God. I will tell you, do you know why you sometimes get discouraged? Do you know why sometimes you feel like throwing up? It is because you don't sense the vindication of the Spirit of God. In the times of his despair, Apostle Paul, this is what he writes to Timothy. In 2 Timothy, chapter number 4, Give me verse 16. Quickly. Quickly. Hallelujah. Come on, praise the Lord. If you're here, say amen. Second Corinthians 4. Now let's read it. He says, At my first answer, he says, No man stood with me. I don't know if you've ever been to that press. Where nobody is on your side. I don't know if you've ever been to that place where you feel you are so broken into pieces and no man is willing to gather you up. Paul speaks of at his first answer, he, he, said, said, he says, no man stood with me. And he says, all men forsook me. Imagine as a minister of the gospel that you are brought to that place where no man you seek to help nobody helps you. You try this side, no nobody. He says, no man stood with me. If there was some who would have said, some men did. He didn't say, some men stood with me. There are those moments where you, when, you know, the Bible says, Moses had men who had to lift up his hands. 
The moments where you need to lean on somebody. Wali wali sera nga mutufu weta gobenga o umuli yako ku muntu oba wesika ku muntu. Paul said no man stood with me. Paul wana atwa sinkano ndite wali no muyaliwo. He says but all men forsook me. Agaba bantu wana bavamu. What is that thing? Chintu checho. That will maintain your st- your, your capacity and maintain your energy level when everybody has deserted when everybody has deserted when nobody is willing to stand with you Paul had that experience too. Paulo ensinkaneyo yajitam. But even when men, even when men deserted. He's writing to his son Timothy. He says men deserted me. And he says the, the, the kind of experience that I had. He says, this one I don't wish you to go through it. If you ever gone through hard time, that's when you understand what it means to have men around you. I'll give you a testimony one time. In this lockdown, we lost a child here. When we lost the child here, people, that was the time I sensed the importance of people in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. 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 I was here praying at night. Oh. You know, I had set my time. And I wanted to pray all through the night. Man of God, I had just gone like 40 minutes. And I enjoyed fellowship. And Jonah started calling me. Jonah now could be the same. I, I, I kept on telling myself, ah, no, I, I will pick him. Right. Right. I, I will call him tomorrow. And Jonah called without ceasing. I said, Jonah has never called and this way. And when he had called like four times, I picked the call. Jonah, I will call you tomorrow. I said, Papa, wait. I said, What's wrong? I said, Jonah, I said, Said Rona has died. Rona against her food. People, I was standing, I was seated there. And he told me, I'm bringing her now. And this man drove the car and packed it here. And I went into the car. And I picked a dead body. And I carried it. And I pressed it. Listen, at that time I will tell you. I needed a certain strength. To encourage me. You know, when, before you go through such things, eh? You may never understand how important people can beat you. And the others one say, I don't care, I don't care. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. And the other one say, I don't care, let them go. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise God. I will tell about that story. Go back to Timothy. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he says, now, verse 17, he says, he says, notwithstanding, he says, the Lord stood with me. He said, the Lord stood with me. Now, the Lord didn't take away the mistake. The Bible says, he strengthened me. He strengthened me. He strengthened me. Tell me about his strengths and me. 
Look at the material that the Lord can strengthen you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me, if there was anything that was consistent in the life of the Apostle Paul, was the strength that the Lord brings to him in the moments of his despair. That time when you feel like me. <laughs> Very soon I'm going to teach a sermon called the Jan of Faith. There are people that think they know God. Until certain things happen in your life. And you ask him, my God, are you there? <laughs> they, they think that can happen in life. And you almost want to ask him. Because you see, the, 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 the parable of faith is that he that cometh to God. Must believe that he is. Yes, you're going through what you're going through. But he is God. This one is happening, but he is God. And if I walk to some people and ask them, do you know God? You will see. The people were so fire, and I love the fire. I know I said I love the fire. But can you maintain that fire? When another fire has showed up. I mean, with the outside surrounding, Nayenga Mumbere Quetoro de is looking like it's speaking of another language. If I don't get a Chris Ganana, you'll get a nothing I'm going to have to worry that. That you would just say, you'd be overwhelmed and you're like, hey, these things are never told to us. How come? There is a place where all you need is God strengthening you. you. And you hear the voice of God telling you, my dear, my son, my daughter, you pass through it. Don't you mind? Paul says, the Lord stood with me. And he strengthened me. That by me, the preaching might be free known. And that all the Gentiles might hear. Listen, he says, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lioness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. He says, I was delivered. And you see, it was it, it was it was it was in his package. When God appeared to him in the book of Acts chapter 26 and the verse is 17 the Bible says the Lord told him he says I said Acts, Acts chapter number 26 and verse 17 Hallelujah Listen, praise God he says, he appeared unto him, telling him. The verse says, he told him, I'm going to deliver thee from the people. I want to deliver you from the people. And from the Gentiles. Of whom I send you to. He's sending him to them. But he knows they will somehow be like beasts. But he strengthens him and tells him. He says, Paul, I will deliver you from them. One of the greatest level of deliverance is when you are delivered from the people. 
The Bible says Jesus knew what was in all men. In John 2.24, the Bible says he knew. He knew what was in all men. He knew the hearts of 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 men. Lift up your hand and say in the name of Jesus. I need the grace to know all men. Chidemo, you are going to be in the name of Jesus. Say it again, Murinjeri Yesu. I need the grace to know all men. When you have this grace, the Bible says he knew what was in all men. This one can help you overcome disappointments. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says Jesus knew what was in all men. Bible says Jesus knew what was in all men. And so the Bible says he did not commit himself unto them. David talks again another deliverance from men. In the book of Psalms chapter number 18. And verses 43. Run quickly and, and, and finish. Listen, he says, read with me. One, two, three. Psalms chapter number 18. Praise the Lord Jesus. Yes, we have People, listen, I have intended to preach this thing to you. He says, Thou hast delivered me. From the strivings of men. Because people can strive at workplace. People can strive in, in, listen, in anywhere. Whatever you want to say, you want to say, using excuses like I would be promoted but if, if it were not for that guy whenever my name is, is to be printed out the guy sits on it it doesn't allow for it to pass in the realm of the spirit there is something called the striving of men and once God has delivered you from the strivings of men oh my God he has indeed delivered you I've been in ministries where there is strife I grew up in those kind of places where people are striving. In that kind of moment, this is your scripture. Oh God, deliver me from the striving of men. And the Bible says, where there is strife, there is confusion. And all manner of evil. So David says, you've delivered me. And thou hast made me the head of the heaven. Somebody take this. He says, A people whom I have not known. He said, They shall serve me. Can you imagine? That when God is to bless and increase your life, it doesn't matter who knows you, who doesn't know you. He says, the people whom you don't know. And then it's good when you're blessed by the people whom you don't know. Because the people you know, because even when they bless you, still walk so They speak a lot. They accompany the gifts with too much. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up your hand and say, the people whom I know not. Say it again and say, the people whom I know not. They shall serve me. That's very powerful. He said, they shall serve me. So, I mean, the, the blessing of God now is not according to the one who knows me. On Sunday, we talked about that room, you remember? 
When God blesses you, God says, I want to bless you. And you eat last year's harvest. When you keep preparing room for today, the next generation will not be able to do it. He says, I have commanded a blessing. That there are people who cannot rest until they have blessed you. What do you want? What do you want? Bananga, you should understand. Like, like they cannot waste. When they start praying, your picture appears before them. They, they don't waste. Like God causes restlessness. They become unrested. Have you ever seen a person who comes and blesses you and tells you, God told me? If you've never seen such a life, raise up your hands in the name of Jesus. The people that I don't know, they are restless to bless me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Bless me. 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 Hey, we read this one. You wanted it. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, first go back at Psalms. I want to finish. I want to finish. Bear with me. I'm going to finish. Praise the Lord. I had a lot to do now. It's okay. He says, he says, thou hast delivered me from the stripes of people, and thou hast made me the head of the heaven. A people whom I have not known, they shall bless me. The next verse says, next verse, he says, as soon as they hear, Woo! Come on, take it. He says, as soon as they hear. He says, as soon as they hear. That means there are people who have it all. They are only waiting to hear Apostle Fred. But Apostle Fred. But you can't see he says, as soon as they hear, the Bible says they shall obey. And it says, and strangers over oh, you understand this. I don't know that you won't take it. The problem is that most of you are just looking at your family. You blame your uncle, you blame your auntie, you blame your church, you blame your dad. The people that I don't know, they shall come and bless me. He says, it's called the ministration of the angelics. So I walk on the street with an expectation that a stranger is about to bless me. Come on, he says the people that I don't know. Listen, this is a man after God's heart. He was literally saying, It's not about you, Eri. My brother, it's not about you, Ben Elbrab. It's not about you, Jesse. It's not about Saul who's persecuting me. It's not, about, it's not about those who are not standing with me. He says, In the faculty of God, in the womb of the spirits, people have been given birth to, to accomplish my life life on the earth. And they shall not rest until they have come and ask, what do you want, man of God? What do you want, woman of God? And then you'll say what you want. And the guy will tell you, I will do whatever it takes to make sure you get it. That's called divine providence. There are, there are people we call divine helpers. There are people we call divine destiny helpers. That there are people God can give your vision. And every time they open their lips to pray, they only pray for your marriage. They only pray for your ministry. They only pray for your success. Now what they also don't know what is happening to them. But God, He commands certain people. 
to interpret your vision. When the Bible says the Lord is the portion of my inheritance, the Bible says he maintaineth my Lord. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, Lord can be an opportunity. Lord can be an opportunity that even when Joseph is in the prison at that time whether they want or they don't want God must cause somebody to dream what is inside me that the gift which he has pressed in me the Bible says a man's gift shall make room for him and this is how he preserves Lord Listen, this is how God preserves Lord. Listen to this. Listen to this. This is how he preserves Lord. That even though in the palace there are people who can interpret the dream. And I'm sure they had interpreted dreams before. But on this very occasion, why do I There is only one person who is destined to and go through. Because somebody has to go through. They tried to interpret that they could not interpret. Man of God, I'm telling those guys who are dream interpreters. I'm talking about lining up with other people on the job. And these guys have more problems than you do. Some of them are PhD holders. Others are master's holders. But you are behind them with a certificate. And you are still telling yourself, this job is mine. In the name of Jesus. Whom are you lining up with? A PhD holder. A master's holder. A degree holder. You are a PhD but even when you do it seven dropouts, God is saying I will preserve your lords. They all do interviews. They can't even know how they felt the interview. But for the sake of the erects, for the sake of the erects, the Bible says whom he found you, he also predestined, he also ordained that they should be conformed to the image of his dear son. The Lebanon said God knows how to manipulate for the sake of you to prevail. Let no man deceive you. The Spirit of God can manipulate things. He can manipulate it. For the sake of those he has got. He can make anything happen. That even when Pharaoh is about to obey, our God says Moses will harden his heart. Because this is not about Pharaoh. I must show my great wonders. I must show my great wonders. In your company, God says I must show. And Pharaoh cannot know why he's becoming funny. Ah, he's becoming funny for the end. Shout and say whom he told you. Slap your name and say in the name of Jesus. By all means. By all means. I feel that scripture. Let me read for you this scripture and I finish. Must be second Thessalonians. Thessalonians. If you only go with this scripture, you will have attended the service. I have just felt it by an action. Speaking in tongues. I want to read for this scripture. people. Just pray to God. Speak to God. Please, if you get only this scripture, the Lord give you peace. 
by Jesus Christ by all means somewhere. Yes, let's read the scripture. He says, Now the Lord of peace, the Bible says, Himself, Himself, He's not using anybody. He said, Now the Lord of peace. Himself give you peace always. The Bible says by all means. Some say by all means. Say by all means. I don't know how he's going to manipulate this. I don't know how he's going to do it. Lift up your hand. Yes, I'm going to read the scripture. Yes, I'm going to read the scripture. Father, in the name of Jesus, you give us peace always and by all means. Always and by all means. That even in adversary, that even in challenging moments, we admit that we need your help. We admit that we need your work. We admit that we need your work. We admit that we need your hand upon our lives. God, as mind of Christ, I admit that I need your intervention. Always, by all means, may God preserve you. May God increase you. May God supply for you. May God satisfy you. May God fill you. May God heal you. May God lead you. You. May God prosper you. May God satisfy you. May the Lord God serve you with joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Christ. shout and say, Amen. 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 All is by all means. We have your na. Mungola zona, mungela zona. Thank you for attending today's service. God bless you. And the grace. Go to strike three people and tell them all is by all means. Get up on your feet, walk something to go. Tell them all is by all means. Tell them all is by all means.